Well, Super Chook, we're here. We're finally on K2O. Um, it. it has been an adventure in itself just getting here, just from gear preparation, limited on tackle, 16 kilos of weight. It's been so hard to do because you don't want to take everything, be only very restricted. Um, four plane flights. Yep. Security checks. <laughs> Shane got a bit of. Uh, I got held up got for a little bit. Security check. <laughs> I was innocent, but I got checked. Um, Jai picked us up from the airport. Took us to the homestead, seen his tackle store, which is pretty cool. Yeah, it's pretty mad. The big bass on the wall. Yeah, big bass on the wall. Cool. Um, just running us through. We met all the other guys who we were on the trip with. Yeah. Um, going from that to out for dinner. It's beautiful. Yeah, took us out beers. for dinner. Met the met the local town pretty much. Um, followed the next morning, you know, getting picked up again, and then going to the airport to go on a medium-sized scary plane. Yeah, two two flights to get here. It was pretty hairy. The second flight was yeah. a little plane. We had to fly around a few storms. and uh, As you can see, there's monsoon everywhere, all just raining. So, yeah, it was pretty sketchy. Yeah. Landed at a village, got met by all the locals, did a little dance and that sort of stuff, which was pretty cool to yeah. see. Did their sing sing. We got some pretty cool hats. Yeah. And got your um, own flash hat. Got my own <laughs> flash hat, yeah. And from and, that, uh, the boys took us through a bit of a joy ride through the villages and a bit of a. It's pretty cool. It's very similar to home. Um, and then, yeah, we're now sitting on K2O. We're just going to prep the gear up, um, get ready, have a few rums, a relax. Few rums and relax, talk some, talk tackle with the rest of the boys. <laughs> we got day one tomorrow, so... So excited. Oh, Can't wait. We've got black bass. We've got barramundi a pest here, so... Barramundi and black bass fever. We've yeah. got it already. We haven't even caught one. So, yeah, so <laughs> day one tomorrow, see how we go. Take you for a ride and hopefully you enjoy it as much as we do. Yeah, it's going to be awesome. Get ready, get ready. If he does that, he's going to pop Day one, Captain Cam, skipper of the day. Mr. Chicken, didn't get much sleep last night, pretty excited. Been a while since we've been excited. That's what you said the other night, mate. <laughs> he was sleeping below me, I was pretty excited. The waterways we were fishing is very similar to back home, so me and Chicken were very confident on catching fish. However, after spending a f few hours on the first day, just tell things weren't quite right, the water level looked a little high. And after speaking to Cam, he told us that prior to our trip, there was a lot of rainfall upstream, which made the main river rise. This makes the fish disperse onto the floodplains, and it's a lot harder to find the fish, as they're not concentrated in their normal areas. So the first day involved a lot of running around, trying different lures, fishing different spots. However, I did get my first black bass, which I was very happy with. There you go, first black bass, only a baby for these standards, but it's a start. And a couple of nice barramundi. However, poor chicken, he had a terrible first day. It is. <laughs> Turn that off. Chicken's first trip in PND was a dirty catfish. I think he got eight catfish and one barramundi, but hey, that's fishing. In the end, we ended up fishing a tight little creek and pushed up inside the creek. We found a last little snaggy bit of structure that we continued to cast at and we were catching fish. They weren't big bass, but they were still fish. I know, black bass number two, as you can see, is a proper swampy. Cameron's, oh, and the trick is on, the barra. Chicken's having a terrible day so far. He's about eight caddies to zero. <laughs> Thought he'd... There we go. PNG lick lick combo. Yeah. <laughs> after casting our arms off for the whole day, it was time to head back to the mothership. And after speaking to all the other boats, it was fairly similar. Well, everyone did it pretty tough. However, one boat did very well. Fit guy managed to get his fellas 
on some, some really nice bass up to 37 pound. So after the results from one boat, we decided to stay again and fish the same area tomorrow. Day two here, uh, new day. Me and Chicken have got the boat to ourselves. Um, Chicken's hopefully going to break his catfish curse and get his first bass for the trip. Um, it was a bit hard yesterday. We got a lot of fish, but they're all small in size. So another day, the same area, so we know it a bit better. So see how we go. At the moment, we're starting it at one of these runoff creeks, just like home. But the tide's going in now, so it might not be good until this afternoon, like yesterday. But it's a new day. So happy chook, Hello. happy chook, happy life. <laughs> <laughs> we soon realised with the tide coming in, this area wasn't going to fish until the afternoon. So we decided to go look for this new creek. However, the instructions we got given to get there weren't quite accurate. We ended up lost. Well, not lost, just confused. We ended up wrong creek, which took us in the wrong part of a floodplain. So after a bit of a discussion and the safe option, considering we're in PNG, we headed back to the mothership to fish the same area we fished the day before. And what do you know, straight up, Mr. Chook finally got his first PNG black bass. We got a happy little Chook. Yeah! It's only taking him a day and a half. Day and a half because we spent half a day driving around, mate! <laughs> <laughs> we went to find a new spot which we didn't find and we got a little bit lost, but we come back to the spot where we got him yesterday and I don't know, five minutes here, Mr. Chick on, on the Samaki Barbalicious. Woo! It's only a pup, but it's his first PNG black bass. Yeah. He's been squawking and he's been grumpy. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm going to be happy for the rest of the afternoon. Yes. Yoo! <laughs> we decided to go out and have a bit of a troll, have a bit of a look around, and try and get a larger fish, as we still hadn't tackled one yet. It produced the goods, but unfortunately, they weren't black bass, just nice size barramundi. Yep. <laughs> Fuck, that was sick. I don't know, it kind of popped up the bar, but... Oh, that's the first fish to take drag this trip. Yeah, stay down. It was late in the afternoon and the big afternoon storm started to roll in and we knew it was time to go as Cameron the skipper of the vessel informed us that we had to be back by 4pm as we we're going to be pushing further upstream to check out a new system and hopefully tackle some bigger black bass. With a new day and a new location, our hopes were high. But unfortunately, with the rising river, this was pushing dirty water back up on the floodplain systems, which was killing any chance we had of finding clean water. Because without the clean water, your chances of catching fish on lures are near to none. And to top things off, poor Mr. Chook wasn't feeling too flash. <coughs> He definitely didn't have too many rums last night. After talking to the group, we decided to head back to the mothership to try a new creek which would be further upstream. After arriving to the new creek, we instantly knew that it wasn't right either. As this was our last hope for the day, we stayed and we continued to push further up inside the creek. And with our amazement, the further we went, the cleaner the water got. But it not only got clean, the landscape changed. It's amazing 
these systems and how big they are and how they continue. But unfortunately, this day was never meant to be. Once arriving back at the mothership, Cam told us that we're going to continue further upstream in search of clean water. So we kicked back and enjoyed the view. Oh, we're going to start of day four. Yesterday was a bit of a um, disappointment, but Fizzle. Fizzle. Fizzle, Fizzle. as the chick would call it. But um, that's fishing, so we got a new day, new location, moved overnight again, another 12 hours. Um, it's very, very monsoonal today, as you can see with the weather. But, got on it again, making our way into a, um, a new floodplain, but we're at the very, very top of the Fly River, so. Near the border, West Papua border. Oh, okay, West Papua border, so. Completely new system, oh, she's shallow. See how we go today. I've got three days to go. We're at the halfway mark, so hopefully it's three cracking days. At first sight, it wasn't looking good, but the further we pushed up, the water started to change dramatically, and it was getting clean. Had our luck changed? This looks thick. Whenever you arrive somewhere new, the best way to prospect is by trolling. You're covering ground. I knew him, Chuck. I can't do anything, I'm snagged. You alright, Chuck? Yeah, it's fucking headshots. Yeah, alright, you got me, so. Oh! Oh, chicken! Oh! Oh, good bass! Oh, chicken! Hey! That's a good one! Chicken! How'd you do that? Look at that! Woo! Woo! Look at that! <laughs> oh, it's been a while. Day four, new location. The super Woo! chook. <laughs> the super chook is at it. Okay. Sick. Ah, oh, put him in the water, bro. And at this moment, chicken became super chook. <laughs> and he wasn't finished yet. The chicken. The super chook. Still going hard on ya. I'm putting sunscreen in me nose. This tin ass on the wind in. Jams another bass. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's a gun. <laughs> <laughs> Second biggest bass. Right, see you mate. <laughs> Today was shaping up to be a cracker. He had me in some shit there for a second. Yo! Yeah! Yeah, boy! <laughs> What's up? Yeah! Woohoo! Now the bull new piece in his head. Lonely brim. Oh, yeah, look at that here. Oh, you pig! Uh. It's been three days of not the best, but the weather and everything's been against us. And we've come up to the final spot, and we're about probably three hours in, and we've, this is the third bass of the day. And they're all upgrades so far, so all is good. Yoo-hoo! In paradise. <laughs> After making several passes trolling, we decided to switch tactics and go to casting. So we used the sounder and positioned the boat right in place. And as we call this technique, teabagging. We're pretty much throwing soft plastics or soft vibes and rattling spots and vertical lifting the lure up and down. This allows you to keep your lure in the strike zone, but it also makes for some pretty interesting fights. Me. Oh, that cracked, man. 
Not him, my rod. Fuck. <laughs> Fish? Yeah. Uh. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Boy. oh. Open your mouth. Well, I'm not gonna lie. Everything I've heard about these fish is insane. That's only a was it 17 pound. And it sounded like my rod snapped when it grabbed it. But how cool is that? Oh, they're all head man. Cheers mate. <laughs> so we continue to fish the area with chicken landing another two nice sized black bass. Fuck <laughs> 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 The pressure we were giving this spot was really starting to notice. We didn't get a bite for about an hour. So we decided to push on and keep exploring. <laughs> that was sick, dude. It didn't take long to find another bass and some species. <laughs> what do I got? Ah, I got a caddy. Species. <laughs> After not much luck and because the first spot looked so goddamn good, we decided to head back and give it another crack. That hard brush. We got ourselves a bass that swam into the tree. Get out there. Oh. Yes. Nice, nice, Woo! Yeah! Hey, I know. Yeah. Come here, bud. <laughs> Get him in. That's all good. Number seven for the day. Been a little bit quiet for the last few hours, but I sat under a tree. I contemplated life. <laughs> Went for a troll and yeah, got a bass. Yeah. <laughs> and got drenched. And got drenched. I've said it once and I'll say it again. How did chicken do that? Oh, Push out the front. Go out, go out. <laughs> Chicken. Get ready, get ready. Yo, oh, chicken! <laughs> How did you just do that, you tin ass? Good net job. Get ready, Arnold. Oh, that was. <laughs> Outfit too. Oh, villain on a Revo piece. <laughs> Super chill. Persistence. Fish resistance. <laughs> We're just saying that. <laughs> Persistence beats resistance. Chicken's like, you should get a shirt <laughs> like that, Shane. <laughs> oh, we're like, all right, then we'll go back to that snag and persist a bit more. I actually spotted this one on the sounder and did a vertical tea bag with a big rattling spot. So my, all these, most of these fish today have been caught on these guys, so they're a large rattler, so. Doing the trick. Alright. <laughs> and yeah. he's gone. Woo. And on that note, it was almost five o'clock, so it was time to head back to the mothership. Alright, uh, Super Chuck, time to redeem yourself again. Day five. <laughs> We've got Hex with us again today. Yeah. Hopefully, yeah. you can get some good shots, some good action shots of the Super Chuck and myself. So, we took off and headed straight to the area where we left off yesterday. We tried trolling, we tried casting. We could see the fish in the sounder, but getting him to eat, that was the hard part. Bus. After about an hour, Fikai, our head guide, decided to head further upstream to a village that he hadn't met before. So we just had, um, Fikai just went up to one of the newest villages where we normally haven't had permission to go up there. Um, and he's successful because we have 
our guy, Dixon, our guide for the day. He's going to show us around in his local village and the waterways, so it's good news. This is the local village where we just picked Dixon up from. So the first half of the day was spent just running around, just fishing banks and looking for structure, but it just didn't have the depth we were looking for. Once we found some deeper water, we were rewarded. Well, chicken was. Oh, sure. Chicken! Yeah. Alright, it's been a bit of an adventure this morning. We've been in uncharted territory with our guide exploring and <coughs> doing a random trial. I hooked the caddy. That'd be and caddy. And hooks this. <laughs> How does that work? That's a black fish. Yeah. Yep. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, Yeah, oh, boy! <laughs> Super chill. <laughs> I get a yeah, caddy and he bro. gets a black bass like that. <laughs> well done, Russ. Well done. Good black bass, bro. On the wind in again, dude. Yeah, man. Just smashed it. We fished the area for another half an hour without any luck, so we decided to move on. We pushed up as far as we're allowed to go with Dixon in the boat. So unfortunately we had to turn around and backtrack through the water we've already been to find some more bass. Because we rushed in the morning, we missed this really good looking spot. It had everything we needed. There was depth and there was a lot of structure on the sounder. Once again, my feathered friend is on. <laughs> I'm going to wind in again. Super chill. Oh, that's a wind there, bro. right there. Oh, you're getting. It's not to slow down when you get to the top. Don't fucking. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is sick. Oh. Oi! Black face! You. Yo! Yo! Hey! I'm gonna wind in again! <laughs> That's three fish he ask, jammed. Ask him the question. Oh. How do you do it? How does he do it? How does he do it? <laughs> that is Woo! three you've banged on the wind in. <laughs> on the very next pass, I got absolutely dusted. Yo, 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 yo. You got to water this? Yeah. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Fucking brick me. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Yo, yo. Nah, he's got me in there. Oh, oh man. Wow. Now, you hear that? Yeah, I've seen you just yeah. out of the back of the boat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But luckily I didn't go home empty handed and I got my one bass for the day. Uh-huh. Oh. Better not be a catfish, oh. it's a caddy. It's a catfish. Yes, no, it's a bass. Yay! First bass of the day. Looking for a sheet. Yeah. yeah. In the, the boat. In the boat. Look at the colours on it, man. What was that? Oh, first bass for myself. Third bass in the boat today. Got this one deep corner with a bunch of snags on it. And believe it or not, the trolley at the moment is out fishing the casting. See you, mate. So what are we going to do? Continue to troll. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> on that note, it was almost five o'clock, so it was time to take Dixon back home and then head back to the mothership. Oh, no, actually. I'm pretty sure it's Derek. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.
Yeah. Dixon. Dixon. <laughs> it is Dixon. It's yeah. Dixon. <laughs> Not Derek. <laughs> <laughs> We've got oh. Dixon on. Actually, Shane was like calling him uh, Dex. Yeah, you Dex, call him Dex. Uh, Dex, then Dexter. Then Dex, then Dexter. Derek. <laughs> his name's Dixon. Well, we, we then just, I got confused. Yeah, what's his name? <laughs> Alright, day six. Last day, final day. Um, we've just made our way back to the village. Um, and Fika is going to ask permission again to go hopefully we can keep going up to that same sort of area because there's a lot of fish up there and it's our last day to try and jam a big one jam a big one i want the, i want one that i have to hug i want to hug it so after a bit of negotiating Fikai once again struck another deal and we we're allowed to head further upstream into some new country It didn't take long to find a fishy looking spot. Start day number six. We've actually come up in the river system now and there's actually current flowing for the first time. And the current makes it a lot easier to pick the fish off as you know they're gonna be on the pressure points and snags on corners. So hopefully it's a good, good day because it's looking pretty good up here. It might not be a black bass, but it's another species to the list. I don't even want to touch it. <laughs> After a bit of exploring, we found this one bend. It had potential, it had structure, and there was lots of fish on the sounder. <laughs> Yeah! A dog. Yeah, little stripes and colours on him. That's so cool. It's yeah, such a cool fish. I want your mummy, please. It didn't take long to put a few in the boat, even a double header. <laughs> yep. Yeah, yeah, boy! Where you bastard? Yeah! They're landing nearly on your foot! <laughs> Double hooker! Double hooker. <laughs> That's sick. Yeah, boy! <laughs> oh. That's alright. Double headed on black bass. On vibing. They must have just switched on. Who was that? Who said vibes didn't work here? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. And once again, the super chook brings it home. <laughs> everything yeah. <laughs> there's never a dull moment with this bloke in the boat gonna take me right into the danger zone too sharp <laughs> And with chicken singing, it's definitely time to call it a day. And unfortunately, our last day fishing. What an experience it has been. PNG sports fishing, wow, thank you guys. We had the worst weather, but they still somehow managed to push through and find us fish. I hope everyone enjoyed the ride as much as we did, and thanks for watching.
The one really good thing about these liverboard trips is the people you meet, you might be from all around the world, but you've all got one thing in common, that's fishing. So generally you all get along pretty well. I'm gonna run you through the crew and everyone from the trip. Uh, hi, I'm Hexerson. I'm the marketing manager for Sport Fishing PNG. Yep, so I'm in charge for the photos and videos. My name is Benway. I'm We're from Papua New Guinea. Yeah. I'm fishing guide. My name is Nicolas Rambo. I'm a retired old man and I'm from the Philippines. As you can see. <laughs> Hello, I'm from jo I'm John. <laughs> I'm from John. <laughs> I'm from PNG and I'm Chef. I'm Bulldog from Broome in Western Australia. And oh, I love fucking fishing <laughs> and I'm a good sparky. Cheers, mate. Uh, my name is Anur. I'm from PNG. My village is almost station, so I guide. So I'm a guide. Sweet. Hey guard, Brian Rake or Reiki from Brisbane in Queensland, Australia and I'm a sparky and a fisherman. My name is Agua, I'm from Highlands region. Uh, my job on the boat is uh, just a crew boy. Hi, my name is Zane. I'm originally from Zimbabwe. I'm currently working in Budapest in Hungary and uh, I'm a chief financial officer. Hi, my name is Fugai Damaya. Uh, I'm from here, Western Province, and I work as a chief mate and uh, guide on the boat here. Okay, cool. My name's Ian Jones. I'm from near Toowoomba in Queensland, and I'm here thanks to Centrelink. My name is Thomas. I live in the north of uh, LA. I'm the captain of the ship. Andre, I'm from Brazil. I'm here visiting PNG for the first time. I enjoyed it a lot. It's very interesting. Thank you. Hi, I'm Ezekiel for Sotes Kormidzi. I'm from uh, Gulf Province and I joined the company in 2017 as a mechanic. After all, I became a guide and I'm now 